Hi, Emma. What I'm going to show you here is how to create new meeting roles. Basically, for the pirate meeting, what you want to do is replicate all of these normal roles, but with a, a different name. To create the roles, you need to go into a different part of Easy Speak. Way down here, it's the club control panel. You as VP Edge should have access to the control panel. There's lots of warnings here. They be sure you know what you're doing. It's not quite that bad, but it is important to, to do things right. And it's the same login as your normal easy speak. And over here, it always takes me a while to find things. Over here, meeting roles. Click on meeting roles. And you see all of the options available to you now. This is what shows up in your list when you go to adjust the agenda. Let's, for example, take a look at Toastmaster. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to, the sort column here gives a number and I'm going to find, okay, let's just put them all in the 90s so that they all stay together in the list. So Toastmaster, if I edit the Toastmaster role over here, I see what its configuration is. So this is the name, this is an abbreviation. Uh, okay, this isn't so important. It is a Toastmaster role. It's these yes or no's that determine how the role is used in Easy Speak. Um, so you need to kind of look assignable. Yes, a person will take this. Yes, you want the role to show up in Easy Speak. Will you allow? Oh, that's interesting. Were you aware of that? That the Toastmaster role cannot be signed up for? Maybe Easy Speak keeps changing that. Uh, it's not a repeatable role, so the Toastmaster is only one of them. It's not a competition role. You don't need to hide it. It's not a speaking role. It's not an evaluation role. And then this stuff I, I never use. So you need to look at the existing role to see how it's configured. I'm going to go back here to the meeting role list and down here to create a new role. I will add. And for Toastmaster, you want the Toastmaster to be called the Navigator, OK? So we will just put in here Navigator. And it doesn't really matter what you put in the abbreviation. Uh, that doesn't matter. It is Toastmaster. Location and assignable. Yes, a person will take it. Yes, we want it to show. Yes. Someone could volunteer for the role. It's not repeatable. It's not just for competitions. We don't need to hide it. It's not a speaker role. It's not an evaluator role. And the charts will be sorted in the sequence. So I said we would put it in the 90s. Save. And I return to role manager. And what I see down here now is I've got the navigator role uh, at number 90. Then the next role, let's take the speaker. Good morning moment speaker is quartermaster. So good morning moment speaker. Let's take a look at how that's configured. Um, it's assignable, yes. Show yes. Fillable. This is no because you as the uh, VP Ed is the one that fills that speaker role, and all of these are no's. The speaker is a speaker role, but it's an educational role. It's not an evaluator role. All right. So we can come back here to meeting roles and add a new one. And we've got the quartermaster. Uh, we said no, it is assignable. And we wanted to show it's not fillable, it's not repeatable. 
It's not competition. We don't want to hide it. It's a, an educational speaker role. It's not an evaluator role. And we will put it at 92 and save. And we have our quartermaster role. What's the next one? The speaker role? First mate. Uh, so we're going to replicate the speaker, see what that looks like. Probably very similar to the good morning moment, except it's not an educational speech, it's a regular speech. And it's repeatable. Um, mate, right? Yeah. So easy to speak because it's repeatable, it will add first and second, I believe. Speaker role. Location, no. It's assignable, yes. We want it to show. Is it fillable? No, you will fill it. Yes, it's repeatable. Hide, repeat, no. We want to repeat the role is only for competitions. No, we don't want to hide it. It's a speaker role. Yes, it's not an evaluator role. So let's put that at say 95. Let's save. What's next? The general evaluator. Both Swainer both on. General evaluator, general evaluators here. These roles are probably fairly generic. So general evaluator, it's assignable, yes, show, it's fillable. So someone can volunteer for that role. It's not repeatable, it's not any of this stuff. Uh, okay, and it is general evaluator, all right. Uh, it's a general evaluator. No, yes, assignable. Yes, show. Yes, it's fillable. It's not repeatable. It's not just for competitions. We don't want to hide it. It's not a speaker role. It's a general evaluator role. And we'll put that at 96 and save. Okay, and I would do that for the other roles. Uh, oh, the R counter. I love that. Grammar Lookout and Bounty Master. Okay. I'm going to pause the video here because, um, eh, no, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll just finish it. So the role manager, let's look at the counter. They're all the same, it's fillable. It's not any of these things, so. It's the, da, 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 not the uh, counter roll. Patient, it's assignable, yes. We want it to show, it's fillable, yes. It's not repeatable. Dun, 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 dun. It's not a speaker, it's not an evaluator. We'll make this say 96. The next is the grammar lookout, the grammarian. So I think you get the idea here. We don't need to look at the grammarian role. Does that work or not? Grammarian. This drop down is optional. No. It's assignable, yes, someone can take it. We want it to show. It's fillable, yes. It's not repeatable, no, 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 no. What did I, what was the last number? Maybe six. Yeah. 
And then the bounty master is topic master. Signable, yes, show, yes, fillable, not repeatable. Speaking of evaluator, 96. All right, so I think we have all of them or, or most of them. Navigator, quartermaster, oh, uh, we need president, don't we? So the president is the captain. We'll add the captain. Um, no, it's assignable. Yes, we want to show this is not fillable. Purpose it. Yes, you, you put in who's going to be president. But it's not repeatable. All right. <clears throat> so I think we have the roles set up. We can always come back to this if necessary. And now we could come back to the agenda. I think I need to refresh the page. And I can edit the agenda here. So all you have to do is come in and say, okay, with the welcome, it's not being done by the president, it's being done by the, oh, now this comes out alphabetical, great. Uh, what was it, the captain? The captain, an update. The Toastmaster, it's not the Toastmaster, it was the navigator. So let's just change the Toastmasters to Navigators. Navigator Toastmaster. Okay, so we don't have any Toastmaster anymore, right? Okay, so now if we look, if we go back to the agenda, what you'll see is there's no listing for a Toastmaster now, but there is listing for a navigator that can be assigned. We have both president and captain. So we come back to the agenda here and there is the precedent here. We change that to captain, update, refresh. Now there's no more president role. There's just the captain role. And we do that for all the other roles. So grammarian, it's not grammarian, it's the grammar lookout. So you see, it's uh, this is probably something you don't want to do too often. Good morning moment speaker is, what was the good morning moment speaker? Good morning moment speaker, quartermaster. Then let's see if this works. The first speaker is the mate, changing that to mate. Yeah, that comes out as first mate. And change that speaker to mate and update. We got first mate and second mate. Let's come back and refresh the agenda. And we got first mate and second mate. Navigating our topics master. What's the topics master? Topics master is the bounty master. The 
the general evaluator. Awesome. Evaluators, uh, we don't have a new name for that, do we? For those roles. The outcounters are. <laughs> And the grammarian is the grammarian something or other grammar lookout. Timer didn't change. Okay, general evaluator. We need to change back to that was good change. All right. So come back to the agenda and refresh. We've got the standard rules that come up on top, and then this is how the 9D, the new rules are sorted. So navigator, quartermaster, first, second mate, general evaluator, our counter, topics master, grammar lookout. Yeah. So that's how it looks. If we look at the printed agenda, it also now shows the new roles. So your agenda is pretty well set for next Friday. If you want to change the evaluate the names of the evaluator or the timer or the tech host, let me know and I can make that update pretty quickly. So if you do ever need to add new meeting roles, you need to do that through the club control panel. Hope that helps.